Hello and welcome to today's daily December video. Uh, I've enjoyed doing these videos so far, but I'm sort of uh, preempting being busy and I'm pre recording quite a lot of these. So, this is being recorded before the Chelsea game. So, I don't know how that's gone, but hopefully, we're all very happy. But I thought today we'll do something not Wolves related again and just football in general. And if the comments in the description are good enough, I might decide to do uh, a Wolves version of this video. But as I was moving into this new house here, uh, I found out that I had quite a few different football shirts with quite a few little stories behind them. So I thought perhaps I'd share some of them with you. So the first shirt that I've got to show you today is uh, something that I don't wear particularly often. Uh, I wear it to play five aside because on a Thursday we play white shirts against dark shirts. So I needed a white shirt so I stole this from my dad. Uh, it's a rapid Vienna shirt from the early 90s. Or mid 90s, 94, 95 I suppose. Uh, so we, when I was younger, lived in Austria, lived in Vienna for a year between 1994 and 1995. So my earliest memories are of, of living in Vienna. So I do have some sort of connection to uh, Rapid. The second shirt uh, is a strange one. About two years ago, uh, just over two years ago, I went on an amazing holiday around Italy and travelling all around from Milan down to Sorrento. It was fantastic. And when I came back, I had a bit of a pang for Italian football and I went on eBay and there are loads and loads of really really cheap old shirts on uh, old Italian football shirts so I bought myself this little one I don't know if it's an official shirt but it's a Bologna shirt with Nakata Nakata I'm not quite don't quite remember him but I thought it was quite a nice shirt I wear it around the house occasionally but there we go at the same time, I also bought a very, very small Olympiacos shirt for about a fiver on uh, eBay, if anybody wants that, because it's far too tiny. Let me know in the comments down below, I can send that to you. Now, I don't want to upset anybody, uh, but this is a, a shirt that I like a lot. Um, this is the Wales shirt from, I reckon, about 2006. I think this is the shirt that Gareth Bale made his debut for Wales in. It's my first ever Wales shirt uh, that I had. And it's just too small for me now, a bit too tight. Uh, it was in that skin tight sort of phase of football shirts that did the rounds about 15 years ago, so 10 years ago. Um, but yeah, I like that as well. Staying on the same theme, uh, a very special shirt for me, a shirt that brings back a lot of memories. It's the shirt, the Wales shirt from Euro 2016 with the badge on there. No name on the back, I did think about getting Dave Edwards on the back, but I didn't. Um, Wore this for every game. Uh, I don't think I washed it through the whole tournament as uh, the luck was in the shirt. But I wear this regularly now to play five side in. I really, really like this shirt, and particularly the Adidas design on it. I love that. So the final two shirts I bought about a year ago, both Adidas uh, shirts, both retro shirts. I think they were from a website called Classic 90s. I'll have to double check and pop that in the description for you. But this is the shirt uh, that Holland wore in Euro 1988. I really, really like this shirt. I think it's really, really cool patterns on it. Um, but I don't wear it too often because this badge here and this old Adidas logo tends to get a bit irritating. But I think it's a beautiful, beautiful shirt. And do you just get pictures of, you know, spitting at uh, Germans when you wear that? And then my personal favourite shirt, non wolf shirt that I own uh, at the moment, is uh, a throwback to 1998. The France World Cup uh, winning team. If you look closely there, you can see he's got the date and Brazil versus France there. Uh, a really great piece of uh, detail there. Love that. I walk around feeling like Didier Deschamps when I wear that. So, yeah, there's my relatively small but quite varied uh, selection of football shirts. I have got a couple of German national shirts as well somewhere. Uh, but I seem to have lost them at the moment. The shirt that I'm missing from my collection that I've always wanted uh, is a Carmarthen Town football shirt from the Welsh Premier League. They're a team that I used to watch all the time at university, uh, but their club shop was a little shack or a little, you know, behind the goal caravan, and they never had any replica shirts there. So hopefully one day my dream will come true uh, and I'll have my Carmarthen Town shirt. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video and. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for more tomorrow. Bye-bye.